<laughs> Hello, everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> little glow plug in the can. See if we can get the truck going. I'm doing things a little different this morning. <laughs> Figured y'all want to come along. Oops, sorry. Woo! She's awake now. <laughs> We're going to get some breakfast. Figured I'd start making my video a little earlier. So, uh, I'm going to get some breakfast. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. There we go. We're going to the store. We're going to get breakfast. Figured I'd take y'all with me. Why not? I know trucks out a little funny. Oh, she fell off the window. Hold on a minute. It's cold out this morning. And the camera mounts acting stupid. So here, let me sit y'all down for a second. See if that'll work. There we go. I hate it when this thing don't work like it's supposed to. But maybe y'all stay there. Maybe you'll stay there. Y'all don't fall again. We don't want to break the new camera. <laughs> this is the kind of difficulties we have early in the morning. You never get that. There was turkeys out here yesterday. I was going to try to get a shot if they were back out here today, but. There's turkeys in that field and turkeys in that field. We're going down the, oh, down into the holler now. Yeah. I thought about going to get my hair cut this morning. Well, first things first. We gotta go get something to eat because I'm hungry. Boo Boo's at the house doing her schoolwork. She's hungry too. I don't know whether y'all can see any of this beautiful. I live in a beautiful place over here, y'all. I ain't kidding. People can say what they want to about how pretty it is and what they, what they expect. It's pretty countryside for me. I like being in the woods and being away from people and stuff like that. The truck's still cold. That's why I ain't running it real hard. Drop her back down one. It's still cold. It's real cold. I got it on the I got it on the, the setting that keeps it idled up because it's I don't know what temperature it is. We got frost this morning. But y'all can tell by the camera that the truck's shaking. That's why I'm not pushing it hard because it she's a little jittery until the temperature hand gets up there a little bit and then all of a sudden, it'll just smooth out and everything goes okay after that. Y'all might even be able to tell it in the video. I just try to take it easy on it. Oh, it's too early. Oh, mercy. Come on, Bessie. Performance programmer back up, but not. We still shimmying along. It's almost to where it's gonna smooth out here in just a minute. Oh, are y'all up early this morning? I mean, for me, early is not really that early. It's just earlier than. I normally get up. I'm gonna try to do things a little, we're gonna try to make a little different video today just because I'm almost to Mathis Church and that's normally about where the, where it'll, I can't, it's not open. When it reaches the temperature, yep, there it is. Once it reaches a certain temperature, then the timing comes up and it smooths out. But it's got to get warm before that happens. Now we can actually, we're doing like 65 miles. <laughs> before we were only doing like 40. Now we can actually get the speed limit a little faster. But, uh, I hope y'all enjoy this. Maybe y'all get to see kind of, 
this is basically what I do every day and I just don't film this. So I'll kind of take you on a little on a little ride of what I do first thing in the morning here. We're gonna set it to stop sign because this is a screwed up intersection with people coming there which direction. There's one, two, three different places for people to be coming from. This is how far it takes me to get to the store. We're pulling in the store now, so. All right, y'all. I'm going to get our breakfast. I'll be back for now. <laughs> Everybody, don't tell. I got a grape for, Chris, for breakfast this morning. I use the, uh, I've been drinking water. Got something stuck to my lip. It's plastic. Let's see if we can get out of here. I got Boo Boo's breakfast. I got my breakfast. And my lunch. I'm trying to watch the mirrors and make sure I don't run over nobody out here. But there's a bunch of. There's a bunch of idiots around here, I'll tell you what. When the plant lets out, that place is beat up with idiots. Just, just, just saying. That's something I've noticed over the years. You might say get one of my hot dogs. And yes, I'm having hot dogs for breakfast. Why? Because that's the one thing I can eat that doesn't hurt my mouth. Don't hurt the teeth on either side or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I've eaten so much breakfast over there. I'm pretty much tired of all of it, so I get my hot dogs. Some mornings I'll have lib mush or big bologna cheese, fried bologna. Some mornings I have a gravy biscuit. A lot of times I like I like a hot dog. I'll point y'all out the window so y'all can see where we're going. Y'all want to see? This will let y'all see going down into the Going down into the uh, the holler. Now we're topping the hill. any justice what it actually looks like it looks so much flatter we're actually going downhill it looks like it's just a level plane in the camera there's the sharpen right here there's the sharpen across the bridge and up the hill that's a pretty good little pull up through here this road used to used to serpentine up through here a lot more and it was gravel when I was a kid and it would ice over we'd come down here and build fires in the corners of the road and we'd sled down the hill and cross the bridge because well, this hill's steep <coughs> here's a stop sign nobody stops at <coughs> my buddy works over at the hay barn Yeah. Hey, y'all seen all my 
my junk. And we're back. We're gonna have seven minutes of just riding in the truck. Let me take Boo Boo her breakfast. All right, everybody, here we go. Y'all can see that. I'm coming. This is what we're working on today after after we went to the, where y'all got to see go and get breakfast this morning and the drive back. Yeah, I had to go to the supermarket after that. I was gonna film that, but I didn't. I'm taking his light off. This is just a little whip light. So he's all Coast Guard legal and stuff. Oh, mercy. Now, of course, there is a person coming off. So, uh, we got to rebuild the carburetor on this thing. figured I'd bring you along. This is a lot of stuff that I don't normally show. I mean, I know y'all watch it. But it's one of them things that can be aggravating, to say the least. Backfire eliminator. This is one of them. Can be a real bugger to get off here, but there we go. You might say I've had it off a couple times, so I'm kind of in the know about how to get it off. I've had her off a few times. Looks like he's got the fuel line off of it. That's the vent. He keeps having trouble with it. He, he also keeps having water in the gas because he's got a, a leak in his gas tank or cap or something. We can't find it. He thought he knew where it was at. And he pulled it off there. And, uh, him and his buddies they welded the tank up because it's aluminum and uh, they thought they had it fixed and it seems to be worse but we don't know whether there's another place that the, that the tank might have been leaking other than where he thought or what but come on off there might be where he's buying his fuel yeah, it could be where he's buying his gas, but we don't know. I mean, that gas looks. That gas looks blue. I'm dumping it out out here so we don't have to dump it all out in the shop. Because who wants to smell all that gas? I don't. Hey, look, it's got a place here you can put a nitrous fogger on. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a good idea on a Vanguard. But, well, there it is. We're going to carry it in the shop, and we're going to strip it down and put a rebuild kit in it. So, hope y'all enjoy that. I'll bring you back in a minute. All right. There we are. All right. We done went and got breakfast, brought breakfast back, got all that done. We've got the boat carburetor off, got some place cleaned out here on the table. Here's the boat carburetor. There's our brand new carburetor kit. I have a hard time figuring out which way to move things sometimes. I have slightly cleaned the table off, but it's still kind of messy. But I think we've got enough stuff here to do what we need to do. The 
bad thing is I just laid the felt screwdriver here and I can't see it. I just had it. I put it under everything. There you know how it goes. If I can make a mess, I will. Get some of that old get some of that old boat nastiness off of there. Some of that old boat nasty. Where it's going. Well, I said we were gonna break the boats loose. Well, apparently we're not going to break the boats loose, so now this thing's stuck in the, it's stuck like junk. Today's one of them days, it looks like we're going to have all kind of stuff give us trouble. Oh, there it comes. We're going to use the little impact driver. See if we can get these screws out. If I can get my hammer out over all the junk. Just try and get them popped loose. One of these days. It wouldn't be a bad idea if I'd put a dead gum vice on the table. Know whether I can get it or not, Dave. If I can get to it to hold it. Dave can't get over here to it because the camera's in the way. Yeah. Here, y'all come a little closer. Here. There you go. How y'all like that? Let's see. Try to get right there off the edge of the table. That way we ain't hitting the throttle linkage. Loose. That was loose. That was loose. They weren't in there tight. They just weren't coming out. There we go. I ain't worried about these screws because they ain't putting them back in there. We ain't putting them back in there, no way. <coughs> we just gotta see what all's in the kit. Carburetor is actually clean. Here, let's move y'all back over here. Y'all in my way, the other way. There we go. We're gonna set that out of the way. We shouldn't need that again. Shouldn't need it again. Nothing else should be tight enough to warrant having that. Shouldn't be, but for some reason, people feel that they are tight the far out of these bolts. Screws, whatever you want to call. I just got a big old needle in it. Big old needle. What do they have, y'all? Got a needle seat, a couple of rings, screws, a washer. Let's see what we got. We're gonna go ahead and clean it while we got it apart. Because why not? It doesn't look that dirty, and I don't think it is dirty. But we're gonna go ahead and clean it while we've got it apart. These screws will come out with a little resistance. There's the four now. I think this kit comes with all new screws. I really hope it does. We 
we probably we might not use everything in the kit. We're going to use everything that we can use. We're not going to tear the whole carburetor apart just to replace a plastic bushing. Gonna get replaced. I want to clean the top of this thing out if possible. That's what I wanted right there. You can actually, you can actually pin that thing up and change the needle from right there, which is pretty neat. I'll put it back down before we bend the needle. We get a camp right there. Uh huh, close by. Wasn't out of the way this time. So there's, there's a little bit of garbage in the top. I'm going to lift that out of there. Wash this edge off. I'm just blowing out the passageways. slow jet out just to make sure it's clean this thing ran idled everything he just he's having some trouble with it we don't know exactly why <laughs> can't actually see through the slow jet even though it does idle probably just yeah I think it just has some fuel or something we're gonna run the we're gonna run the wire through it anyway just to make sure he's got a duck season coming up. And he wants to make sure he can get out on the duck pond. I'm going to try to get her done. Figured I'd bring y'all on to watch. I'm going to wind up with more time in this video than we got time to do. So, uh, I'm going to stop y'all off here. I'm going to finish going through this carburetor now. I'll bring you back when I'm putting it back on or something. But everything's pretty much clean now. I just got to put the new parts in. I'll bring you back. Alright everybody. What I'm doing now is I'm taking some of the fuel out of this thing because it looks like it's got water in it. Which has been the case the last couple of times that I picked it up from it and worked on it for it. It keeps having water in the gas for whatever reason. I don't know where he's getting his gas or whatever. But I think, I think he's got a lot more water in it. I can see some water in it now. I'm just pumping it out gingerly to see if it's, I'm going to pump a quart out of it and see how much water is in it. it. It keeps having water in it every time. I don't know whether he's getting water somewhere, whether it's got a leak or, but it's, 
gets watery every time. So now I dried this bottle out, even though it's a water bottle. There was no water in it. know if y'all can see that or not there you go you can see that line can't you see where it separates right here that's water we're gonna go ahead and stick the carburetor back on we're not gonna hook the fuel line up we're gonna let that sit and see what it looks like but we're gonna go ahead and put the carburetor back on while we're while we're here That way I'll have it up on there. This is a better made cable, I think, than the one that was on it. I think I'll have to adjust it a little bit. I'm a screwdriver, tighten the carburetor back up, I'm going to adjust the throttle cable a little bit. There's that. Let's see if we can turn you over this way just a little bit. I'm going to keep everything in frame, maybe. two pair of pliers out with me today. I brought the little mini channel locks and the NIM packs. So I can snug that up. And a whole lot of pressure there. But I'm going to throw the Sparky back on there and then we'll bring you back here shortly. I need a camera that moves on its own. <laughs> Anybody got one of them figured out, let me know. I guess I could build a remote control setup. So, uh, we're going to try to put all this video together as one. This video will never be a long one by the time you're watching it. All right, let's see if she'll fire off. I got what looks to be most of the water out of it. And then, uh, threw that box up there first. Watch yeah. your tank. I'm just gonna let it hang there for now. I wanna see if it'll fire up and run. gas again.
almost act like it didn't, like it ran out of gas. It's got a primer bubble on it too, so we can still pump gas into it. <laughs> Day. Remember, be kind, love each other, they'll hop around. 